pulled up for the night. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon on our way to Western Australia. And the boss is just offloading his little posty bike. T-Rex, not a posty bike. Oh, well, okay, T-Rex, he says. Where we camp, it's got all these rocks and they have all these beautiful patterns. So this is what a ribbon stone looks like. And they're showing nice, lacy or feathery patterns. And they all come in different colors and banding. And they're just everywhere here. So doesn't matter where I look or step, you can see a little bit of pattern on the outside there. So unless you smash them, you're not gonna see what pattern you're gonna get inside. So I prefer to collect something that has an unusual shape. I can already see there's patterns in them and it depends on how you cut this, that would actually show some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns. And also like this one here, you can already see the banding. So that's beautiful, beautiful banding. And that one's got a little geode on the side there. That's also an unusual shape. And you can see circles, patterns all through it. I'm gonna do some smashing. So that one is just a peachy color with red bands. So that one there has got some nice feathery banding or the ribbon. So that one, I can see some nice feathering on the top there. This one's got a nice feathery pattern. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at the gorgeous pattern on that one. And here we've got some nice specimen or examples of ribbon stone. Just beautiful pattern. Also, there's a big piece here that Wally found. And that is just absolutely gorgeous. See what they are on the outside. They have these patterns. And once it's fractured, you can see the feathery patterns on the side there. So that would continue all the way down there, forming a ribbon-like pattern. Look at that, beautiful. And even on the other side, you can see the swirls. It's going that gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. A couple of months ago, we were here, and this whole area here, along the rear bank, was packed with campers, mostly caravans. And when there's water, there's fish. So you can see what sort of fish we've got here. There's fish, there's wally. Where there's fish. <laughs> I don't need any stuff, but I love catching it. With my fossil king sieve, and we're going to see if we can catch a shrimp. We need some bait. So he's got his sacrificing his pork chops bone. A little piece of pork chop. Bone. <laughs> bone. I'm not going to give him a chop. This is the first place in our travel for about two and a half months now, being in the bush, that we've got internet connections. Where's Wally? Away, 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 Swally. Oh, there's Wally. That's a nice spot. Oh, look at the pelican. It's not little, it's big. There's still a couple of flower actually in here, right in the corner. And the opposite side, about two and a half months ago, they were just uh, in bloom. I'm about 100 meters away from where we camp in this ribbon stone field. And in here, there's a big area where someone has dug before. Since we only got a few more hours left here, we only got the afternoon for me to find some ribbon stone, then I won't bother digging because that's hard work. Instead, I'm just gonna go in the open field where they've already weathered away, but it's all very grassy here. It looks like there's nothing here, but through those grass is where one will find some ribbon stone. See those are ribbon stone, but you can't really tell as most of them, the patterns are not shown. So you have to crack pieces like that to see what's inside. And like this one, we gotta be careful. What I do is just the edges, see? Now, mm -hmm. eye protection is very important. So I'll just smash, smash this one. There you go. And that doesn't really have a lot of uh, lines through it and it's still very porous. So I need to find something that's more, I call it agatize or harder. So that one, see that's really, really porous. That's just um, a jiba rock or rubbish rocks. So again, see this one, it's already been cracked. It's not very nice as well, So, but it's got nice patterns, yellow and beige color. 
but it doesn't have a prominent line or patterns and if you see nice pieces like that and you think oh that's got a nice orange and sort of olivey color pattern in it but you'll find that you'll be wrong because that's not the color once you chip that so i'm just going to smash this just to show you hang on so that's not the color and you can see the orange is actually white so like this one now just showing you that it's orange and beige on one side it's because it's actually white so the dirt actually stained it make it look orange but it's not orange again that one looks like it's got some nice patterns but you don't know until you smash it so really you need a geopic so again that's no good that's already a fracture line and again okay so there's no prominent lines or well-defined lines so I'm gonna leave that, go look for some more. Camel wheel sunset, that's just beautiful. We're leaving our spot now at Camel wheel and through this field, all of that, those rocks that you see on the ground, all through there on the other side, opposite side of the river, they're all ribbon stone. This is the main road, we're going out so, and that's the river on the embankment on the left here, even beyond that embankment there, there's still a ribbon stone. So it's about a two kilometer stretch, I guess. So I'll just go through there, but all through that area or this area, they're all ribbon stone.